Thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to use the effects um, on the layers panel right after this. Okay, let's get started. So here I've got a little truck illustration and uh, I've already got some effects on here um, that I'm going to show you. First off, I have a little shadow under the truck, and um, the effects I have for this is Garge and Blur. So, um, with this effect, you can um, um, you can do Preserve Alpha, which um, just has the edges. So, but that doesn't really do anything to this one because it's not blurring any colors together. So it makes it look like it's not even blurred at all. So I'm just going to keep that off. So that's the first um, one I have. And then also um, for the truck, I have a little drop, a uh, little um, shadow out, out here, as you can tell. Um, this is actually uh, this is actually a clear background. So um, I'm going to go here, and you can see I have a little effects icon. So you click on this. To see what um, what you've got. So I have uh, outer shadow on this top part, and I want to put outer shadow on um, this um, black thing too. So I'm the black thing up is up here, and what you do is you click a layer you want to put um, effects on. Click on effects, and it comes up with all these options. Um, I'm just going to use the uh, outer shadow and turn up the radius and turn up the off offset a little bit actually never mind I'm not going to turn up the offset and you can put on different balloon modes as well experiment see how it looks I'm going to put it on multiply Okay, so once you're done, I'll come up with a little effects thing, and you can tell which one is on, or which effects thing is it, on, it is on. And I'm also going to put a shadow for these cars, I mean these uh, wheels. So I'm going to click on the layer, effects, shadow. I'm going to turn it really dark, because it's going to be a dark shadow. It's going to be... And uh, for this, you can also um, type in whichever radius you want. I'm going to put 300 pixels. And that doesn't look very good, so I'm going to put like 150 or 170. That looks about good. And now I need to turn down the intensity. Turn it up a little bit, just a little bit. And you can type in that kind of stuff with these ones as well. Offset. Okay. So now I've done that. Um, um, I'm going to show you around the other ones. I'm going to make this one. I'm going to open this layer. Open this group. I'm going to show you how to make things look sort of 3D-ish with effects. Um, so you've got... 3D or bevel and emboss. So I'm going to go with uh, bevel emboss. This is, you can use this with letters as well. So you can do make it look sort of 3D ish. Okay. Um, what this does is it makes it um, this anything around it makes it uh, sort of more lighter and um, so you can turn it in whichever direction I think that's a pretty good direction I'll do more on top I guess okay and you can click on soften and you can do um, 
uh, different things. Um, different settings. I'm gonna put it on emboss. Okay, so um, you can just mess around with these. Um, gradient overlay is basically just um, if you want like a few gradient things, and you can turn the opacity up and down down here. So, and you can do that with all of them as well. If I didn't want this, to, you couldn't so you couldn't tell as much. Um, you just turn on the opacity. And uh, so, um, 3D is has more options than uh, emboss or bevel. So you try that out. You can uh, look at it. Um, outline is what you would think of an outline. It's just any color. You can do solid color, contour, and gradient. So, and you can do center inside. There's lots of different options here, and blend modes are basically in everything. So this is um, pretty cool. You can do outlines, and I use outlines mostly for text. Um, inner glow, outer glow, um, inner shadow. I'm gonna turn that off. Inner you know, shadow looks pretty cool for um, some stuff. Change color to black. There we go. Okay, so that's basically all for that. And I'm just going to make this have a inner shadow inner shadow right here click on it pull the radius up a bit and offset just a little bit a little bit offset okay so that looks good so it gives it 3d look so now that I've got that done um, I'm just going to uh, maybe make this blue have a bevel a little bit so Click select layer out here, and uh, so you guys um, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And eat, um, if you really liked it, then you can share it with your friends. Um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please click on the video up in the right corner. Thanks.